so I'm basically cleaning for the house cleaners. <laughs> leftover drinks like this I don't waste um, I usually water our plants a little bit I think my I feel like one this is like a type of Vietnamese herb yeah I'm trying to grow it and see how it goes One of my friends got me this for my birthday. Um, it smells really good. I think I'm gonna burn it. Thanks, Amy. Hug, brother. That's so sweet. Ew. Ew, you lick him. Did you lick him? Back up. Good morning. Good morning, baby. Hi. Hi. Are you ready for your eye doctor today? Yeah? Are you ready? Are you ready for your eye doctor? They're still cleaning downstairs, so this is the only thing we can eat right now. Instant ramen. Let's see how they cleaned. This is a spot right here. Not really too thrilled to make my bed though. Probably not gonna use them again. Didn't wipe this down. Just got the house clean and look. Toys all over the place again. This is what happens when you have kids. What are you doing? Making a mess again? so that we can drive all the way to Dallas for Beckham's first eye doctor appointment with this new doctor for his uh, uh, ptosis condition, which is the drooping of his right eyelid. Um, we're hoping that he could get surgery soon because I think it's delaying his developmental skills. So I'm online printing out the forms that we need for the first visit since I don't want to be sitting there filling out when we get there. <coughs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hi guys, so I thought that I should document this process of us going to a new doctor and getting Beckham's ptosis checkout and um, you know our whole journey of 
you know, maybe getting surgery in the future because I think a lot of parents would appreciate this. When I first found out that Beckham had ptosis, I tried to go on the internet myself and look up videos of parents with the same situation and I wasn't able to find anything. So I think this would be a good um, thing to document. So I guess I should um, start out with how Beckham was even diagnosed with ptosis. So basically, um, Beckham came early. Um, I had him at 36 weeks. Um, my water started leaking that morning, so I came in and got induced um, and had him that night. Um, uh, when he came out, he wasn't able to breathe on his own, so I was only able to hold him for, you know, a couple minutes and he had to go to NICU. Um, I never got a chance to see he, him open his eyes. Um, his eyes was closed the whole time. And even throughout his two weeks in the NICU, his eyes was mostly closed. Anyways, so when we um, when Beckham came home and we went to the first pediatrician uh, check check up with his regular pediatrician, um, I told him that I think uh, Beckham has ptosis, and he sent us that very same day to an eye specialist, and it was confirmed that he does indeed have ptosis. So yeah, um, so he had ptosis ever since he was born. But yeah. Anyways, continue with um, how Beckham was diagnosed with ptosis. So yeah, in NICU, his eyes wasn't open um, for us to even know. But I noticed that uh, one day his right eye was kind of swollen. So I still, I think I still have a video. So I'll probably try to insert it after this. But um, I asked the pediatrician in the NICU about it. And he told me that it is normal for because um, Beckham's been laying on it on the, his right side a lot, so that's why it's probably swollen and closed, and that sometimes babies are lazy, too lazy to open their eyes. But I like mother instinct, I kind of knew that wasn't it. So I did a lot of research, and um, it matches up with ptosis. So when we went in for the first pediatrician checkup, I told him, um, him that I think um, I mean, Beckham has ptosis. So when we um, when Beckham came home and we went to the first pediatrician uh, check check up with his regular pediatrician, um, I told him that I think uh, Beckham has ptosis, and he sent us that very same day to an eye specialist, and it was confirmed that he does indeed have ptosis. So yeah, um, so he had ptosis ever since he was born. But yeah. Open your eyes. It is swollen. Aww. He's trying to open it. So we're here. <laughs> is he sleeping? Look at his little toes. Put socks for him. It was 80 degrees. Did it like get colder? Sweet. Five oh three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last name? Um, Fan. Insurance cards and a picture ID. Okay. Um, insurance card and picture ID. Yeah. And then this here is our paper. Get this out. Thank you. My favorite meal is Yeah. <laughs> what you doing? What 
Yes, Mark. It's not very happy. Anything. No. Hi, buddy. Oh, thank you. Here we go. There's the sink right there, Mom. Okay. Now. All right. Ooh. Have a seat with him over here, Dad. He was born with a lack of muscle okay. that opens the eyelid. Okay. So there's seven muscles of the eyelid, eight maybe, of the eye. And this muscle on top, when it contracts this way, it pulls the lid open. Okay. And so he doesn't have a very strong levator muscle. Now he has some function, which is because you see the crease in the lid. Okay. Um, and usually, and it looks to me like he's using the eye. Okay. He is, yeah. Um, because do you find him throwing his head back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when he's tired, yeah, he's really tired because he gives up. Mm -hmm. So usually that means that his visual development will be fine. Okay. Okay, that's good. And what one that doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. What one does is shorten the muscle okay. when he gets older. Okay. And then just make sure that his vision develops in the meantime. Okay. Okay. Has anybody seen whether he needs glasses or not? Um, not yet. We, we saw Dr. Tong, but um, I heard great things about you, so that's why we switch over to you. So you okay. did some preliminary tests. Yeah, yeah. so we... Um, Usually, Dr. Tong or one of his associates makes sure that his eyes are the same length. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. 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 yeah, let's take a look. Hey, buddy. We have noticed his um his eye would or his eyeball is <coughs> would roll back. Okay. Let me finish this. And... There we go. Yeah. Good news is he doesn't seem to have a lot of. Nearsightedness, or either of you nearsighted or farsighted? Um, I think I am, but I'm not sure which one. Do you wear contacts? Um, I don't right now, but I should. Let's see what we got here. You got a toy for him? Um, no. He's not really interested in toys. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. What's that? 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 
Yeah. Usually he gets frustrated when we try to do that. <laughs> Yeah. And has he ever, when he's not tired and you catch the eye, has he ever just ignored it? Uh, I think once. Yeah. Okay. Because, the, you know, the way to make sure that he does use that eye is to put a patch on his, obviously the eye that opens better, and do it when he's not tired. Okay. You got anything for him to eat? So, the thing to do is to probably patch his sighted eye, okay. his left eye, a couple hours a day. Okay. Uh, and then generally, I don't, when he's got a crease like that and if he's using his eye, I don't think there's any need to do any quick surgery. Okay. Because I see a crease there, it usually means that they have four or five millimeters of function and you can later oh. shorten the muscle. That may not be until he's four or five years of okay. age. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are other times that one needs to actually suspend the eyelid to the eyebrow, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't know that that's necessary or going to be necessary in his case. Okay. What questions do you have for me? Um, I, I think that was one of them, if, if surgery was needed and when. Um, I think one of our concerns was we didn't want any kids to make fun of him when he goes to school. Sure. Um, so that was one of our concerns was, okay, would it be better to do it? right before he goes to school type of deal or or should we wait until you know a little bit longer for whatever reason you know and it depends on the child and their maturity and their interest yes my ideal is to right now you get the questions mm -hmm. certainly none of his peers are asking him what's different about your eyelids yeah. and that generally doesn't occur until four or five years of age yeah um, in the meantime, uh, again, and with the congenital ptosis, there's usually, you know, usually I'm able to get the affected side about 90% of the other side. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, is it just by patching or? But with surgery. Oh, with surgery. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Has there been any cases where if you just do patching that it would resolve itself? Look here, buddy. Can you see? You know, patching is not going to make the muscle smaller, stronger. Mm, okay. When you went to see the pediatric ophthalmologist, did they put drops in his eyes? Yes, they did. they did. And did they make any recommendation for glasses? No. Okay. They never talk or say anything about glasses. I don't see that today on my brief exam that he needs that, and that's just be something I would follow. Okay. okay. Were you recommended to you that you patch the mm -hmm. left side how much a day? I think it was an hour. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did you get these kind of patches? Um, similar. Similar. Just kitty patches. Okay, good. You can get them on the internet if you can't find them in the drugstore, but most drugstores have them. Okay. So, what I would tell you is that patch an hour a day and then let me check him in about four months. Okay. Okay. Questions? Um, I, I think we were also concerned, like, can it uh, affect his developmental skills? Like, because he's behind on motor skills. Um, generally not. Okay. And how is, how is it determined that he's behind on motor? Um, we went to see the pediatrician, and um, he said that he's behind a little. Well, he, um, he didn't say it was like severely behind or anything. He says it's you know, nothing to worry about, but you know he's not checking off a couple of the boxes that yeah. okay. normally his age does. So then he he wanted me to ask you if it could be 
because he was like, you can ask the, yeah. the eye doctor that. Generally, in terms of cognition, mm -hmm. no. Okay. okay. In motor skills, I mean, he's not walking, but he's not of an age to walk. He's not crawling. Right. Yeah. Or should he be crawling and he's not? Um, he's so not, he, I think he's not, um, turning over, turning over and getting on his hands and knees, which apparently he should be. Yeah. Okay. How old is he? Are we keeping this? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm going to go try this new place called Shushi the Hand Roll. So that's the place we're eating at. Happy hour, Monday. Fried onions. It's really good. Very flavorful. 
with me finally. Let's go, Becca.
doctor said that um, he probably doesn't need surgery right now because he's using his eyes and right. Yeah, and they're functioning. They're functioning pretty well. Um, we might not need surgery until he's four to five year old. Um, but he said that we'll see him again in four months and if his developmental skills is still lacking, he's probably gonna put a sling in. Right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's what's going on. He still uses it pretty well. It's okay. Woo! Woo! We really like it, huh? Yeah, right now, they just want us to start patching. Yeah. About one or two hours a day. Just patching his eyes, something that he doesn't like so often. <laughs> so patching doesn't really um, sh fix the eyes per se. It doesn't like make his muscles stronger or anything, but it would help uh, preserve the vision in his right eye. Um, it just forces him to use the right eye more often so he doesn't lose, lose it. Right? Nice day. This is the first time we got to be like actually play outside. Yeah. Yeah. It's too cold or rainy. I know. That's what you get for being born in the fall. <laughs> My boys. Triple nose touch. Do it again without the tutti. Triple nose touch. Oh. He wants to do it again. No. Triple nose touch. Triple nose touch. Triple nose touch. Oh. Mm, ambulance. What's his name? Raiden, what's his name? Other. Say Beckham. Just got finished editing the vlog. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe.